Hi there, it's Alana Terry again, and this video is going to teach you how to upload your Amazon ads data to your ReaderLinks account. So what we're going to do first is get to where we can see all of our history and things like that. So just your regular advertising account page. We need to only select one day. My recommendation is that you always stay about three days behind. So I'm not gonna do something today or yesterday or the day before yesterday because sometimes there's a lag in reporting. So if you wanted to be really careful, you could go up to two weeks behind, but I like having the data sooner. So I like to keep it so that I'll stay current up to about three days from today. So you select one day and click save. And then we don't need to do anything with columns or anything. Basically, we just wanna make sure that our date range is correct and click export. Amazon will not include the date when they save it. They're going to try to put today's date. So what I recommend is you just come up with some kind of naming convention so that you remember what date you have saved because you are going to need to tell reader links what date we're looking at. So I'm just going to save it as the date of not today, but the date that I'm looking at on my report and AMS for Amazon Marketing Services. All right, so that's how you export your data from Amazon ads and next we're gonna upload it to reader links. So now what we're gonna do is when we're in our reader links page, we're gonna click on upload ads report and give them the file that you have downloaded and then the only other thing that you need to do is you need to tell them what day the data you're looking at comes from. The report doesn't have that information there. So you upload the file, you click here to tell reader links what date they should count these ads toward and then hit import ads. If you make a mistake in the date, it's not a big deal. So let's say that I uploaded this and then I realized that I actually uploaded it for June 2nd instead of June 1st. I can still go back and basically ReaderLinks is going to look at the most recent report I've uploaded for that day. So if you make a mistake, just go ahead and re-upload it for the correct day and you should be fine. So now I'm going to hit import ads and then I will be able to see in my ReaderLinks dashboard what I've spent on Amazon ads in a given date range. After you upload your reports to ReaderLinks, there's one more step that you need to do so that ReaderLinks knows which books you're advertising. So you go to Reports and then go to Manage Ad Assignments. And if there are new ads that ReaderLinks does not yet recognize, they're going to show up here. So when you create your Amazon ads, I recommend that you give them in their name an acronym or something so that you know what book or series you're advertising. And that's gonna make this step a lot easier. So I am going to click assign. Now, a lot of us are making multi-book ads. So we're advertising an entire series with one Amazon ad. If that is the case, if your ads are for an entire series and not just one book, what you're going to do is you are going to assign this book, this ad to book one in your series. So it's not going to be a, a perfect match, but it's going to be fine so that when you look at your series data, you're going to see what you've spent for the whole series. So you just go through, click save. So for each of these books, you're going to assign which book you're advertising. And if you're advertising an entire series, just go ahead and find book one in that series hit save, and once you go through those steps, now reader links will know which money is being spent to advertise which book or series.